Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kelly. I'm uh, so sorry. <laughs> welcome to So You Think You're Iconic, the movie podcast, where we need to get ourselves together. Yeah. Obviously, it's been a while, and we've forgotten yes, Kelly. <laughs> Dude, I I've forgotten everything. I literally woke up at what eight something, and I'm like, when do we record again? <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. Not me sitting here, and I was like, "Where is she?" <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I I can't even tell you. And what's so I funny is it's later you. for her. Yeah, it's later for me. So like the time difference, it kind of because we've been gone so long, it just kind of messed with me for a minute, and so I forgot. <laughs> it's okay. In like two months, I think. A month and a half, the time difference won't exist anymore. So yeah, a month and a half. So yeah, which honestly, that will save my sanity because we'll be back on track. Yeah, we'll be back on track. I will have to second guess myself until unless she starts thinking that we still are on a time difference, <laughs> <laughs> and then that will really fuck everything up. I forget there's a, a there's time change because there's no time change here. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've got an hour. It's fine. Yeah, I've got an hour. And then I'm like, Friends where are here. you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, well, how was your week, Kelly? It was all right. Um, I had my 30-day review at work. Ooh. Apparently, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my uh, annual review right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, I am across the board successful <laughs> yay we love yay. to see it now yeah. give her a raise <laughs> oh my gosh dude when he was talking to me about um like my other reviews and the end of my probation it just kept getting longer and longer and i'm like i'm just hearing that i'm not gonna get a raise until six months to a year out that's what i'm hearing i'm not getting my raise until february kelly February. Yeah, but that's closer, though. But, like, I was told when I was recruited I would get it get at it, six yeah. months. Yeah, that is true. I was lied to, Kelly. You lied to. You know what? It's so funny. We should never this... listen to the people who stick, stick us in this capitalistic nope. <laughs> cycle, nope. and we do anyway. <laughs> y'all, y'all recruiters are never seeing the pearly gates. <laughs> No. Never. Y'all are not. Y'all just spew lies. Y'all be lying through your teeth. <laughs> like God isn't watching. <laughs> what? Is there some, hold up. Is there someone at my door or something? My dogs are going crazy. Hold Someone's up. definitely at your door. Two seconds. <laughs> why did I Is forget I ordered? Door? Why did I forget I ordered food? <laughs> like this took so long. I honestly forgot I ordered it. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Um... Y'all need Jesus because yeah, lying is a sin. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. It is. Y'all need to check yourselves. Check yourself, mm -hmm. please. Please. But yeah, Dude, we um, really, we really out here accepting jobs with these false promises. With these false promises, I'm gonna start getting <laughs> shit in writing. <laughs> Stop gaslighting us. Yeah, don't gaslight me ever again. I swear. <laughs> I'm not the one or the two. Don't play with me right now. Mm -mm. We don't I'm, play with money. I'm getting closer to thirty. Like, don't play with me right now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Speaking of speaking of getting closer to thirty, I recently signed myself up for benefits, and uh, Jordan and I are getting married. <laughs> yeah, we're getting married. Because what the actual fuck? <laughs> I will tell you right now that. Um, the job I work at gives very great benefits. And honestly, the only thing that I'm paying for, Jordan, is my uh, medical health insurance. I got the upgraded plan for dental and vision. Zero dollars. Yeah, the next time you come out here, we're getting married. <laughs> like, I literally told my mom that. It's, and the look of absolute fear that was in her eyes when I told her I was getting married, she was like, what are you talking about? And then I explained why I was getting married. And then she literally just pushed me out of her way and kept going. She was so done with me. She's like, you did not just say you're getting married for the benefits. 
but she you thought I was it. playing, and I will 100% get married for benefits. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I will get married for anything that will help push me forward oh, financially. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, I, yeah. I'm i not getting any on. younger. Nope. It'll help on taxes. It'll we have, We'll have really good health insurance. Uh-huh. Like... Well, I'm not seeing any downfalls. I'm not either. Like go, I like go, you. You like go, me. We're, we're yeah, fine. We like each other. Like yeah. Go be go be with whoever you want to be romantically. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't, um, yeah I don't <laughs> perfect marriage. Yeah. Some people who are actually married can't say the same. Exactly. We've got so, we've got a lot more than some marriages out there. We've got a lot more. We actually like each other. <laughs> right. Some, we like each some other. Some people in marriages don't like each other. No. No. So Mm-mm. yeah. Yeah. So we have we have mutual friends. We like our friends. Yeah. Like you've got similar values. This mm-hmm. is a lot more than a lot of people. A lot more than a lot of people can say. So if y'all might get married for the benefits and y'all actually like each other, do it. I don't see I don't see a downfall. Y'all wouldn't mm-hmm. even have to live with each other. Y'all could no. just be friends. We we'd wouldn't be live with we'd benefits. be in two yeah. different states. Yeah. I Unless Kelly wanted him. to come back, because I'm not yeah. going there. No, you're not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> oh, but, but see, yeah. if I move, if I move, then I lose the benefits. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you got to stay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stay for a little bit. For a little okay. bit. All right, all right. Until you fair, can get a fair. similar caliber job out here. Yeah, that is that is so fair. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, really happy that your 30-day review went well. Yes. Hopefully, yeah. my review goes well i mean it will I'm, sure like, it will. I'm an excellent worker yeah you in are. fact i if we want to go to my week i had the <laughs> craziest like talk about going from zero to a hundred no for real though monday and tuesday didn't have shit to do hmm. wednesday hit baby whoa <laughs> <laughs> All at once. Everything all, all at once. The most amount of work I've ever done at this job. <laughs> really? I had, Since you I started. Had, on Wednesday, I had one project that took all day. Yeah. I got the project at like 10.30. I didn't finish it until around 4.30, 4.45. Oh my gosh. It took all day. And then on top of that... This guy kept uh, messaging me to do stuff for him. So I was trying to like go back and forth between doing that and like um, delegating tasks to other teammates. To do. It was a lot. Mm-mm. And the, and then the next day it was slightly better, but it was still bad. <laughs> and then Friday, Friday was like, thank God. Like, th- thank God. <laughs> like, because mm. I was going to have a mental breakdown. Oh, yeah. I mean, I still did kind of have a mental breakdown because some have at the end of the day, but I'm not going to talk about that because I'd have to go into details. And mm-hmm. like we, like I said, when I first got this job, NDAs were signed. Yes. So, yeah. mm, not talking about nothing. Mm-mm. Just know, I left I left work early that day. Yeah, yes, you did. Yes, you <laughs> I was did. like, I need to go home. And honestly, we love that for you. And mm-hmm. we love that we have Monday off. Yes. Happy MLK Day, y'all. Happy MLK Day. We love it. We love that the CIA killed him. Yes. And then and then made his birthday a holiday so that they could get a day off. <laughs> love yes. that. Love yes. that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. But yeah, overall, pray for us to get raises. And no no yes, shitty dude. little one or two dollar raise. I need like a five dollar uh-uh. raise to be completely honest. Honestly, I need a five one. Yeah. Kelly needs like a ten dollar raise to if we <laughs> if we really want to keep it a buck. Kelly needs like a ten dollar raise. I do need a ten dollar raise. <laughs> we are struggling out here. She, yeah, she needs like a ten dollar raise and then she'll be on my level of uncomfortableness. Yes. Yeah. Like I'm comfortable enough that like I have extra money with each paycheck. Like I'm not scrounging for chan- for cash. Like I have yeah. I have cash, y'all. I have yeah. cash. Yeah. But I can't afford an apartment. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, Yeah. Something yeah, needs I to be done. 
I can barely afford my monthly bills when they do come in with my paycheck. So, ah. Yeah, I have I have two bills right now that I am doing perfectly fine with. No, three. I have two credit cards and one car payment. Mm, mm-hmm. And then, I oh, I'm also now paying for health insurance and vision and yes. all that other shit now. Yeah. Like, I can't complain about that one because it's so because my birthday Because my birthday falls in, like, the middle oh, of the yeah. year. Yeah. So it was yeah. either go half a year without insurance, which is illegal in California. It is. Or just start paying early right now and so yeah. i just started paying early that's just how it goes Happy america, insurance america is ghetto it's very ghetto like i'm not moving anywhere else to any other country but it's ghetto out here <laughs> i mean i can't even afford to move to any country it's expensive that to leave true. america <laughs> that is true and I you don't either live under a monarchy you either you either have to move to that to that other country and then you have to go through like a whole bunch of expensive paperwork and all mm-hmm. that other stuff. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, you'll have to pay taxes in both that country and America. And America, if or, you don't want to renounce, yeah. Or you go through the long ass process and expensive process of renouncing your American citizenship, mm-hmm. which costs money for some yes, reason. It does. Yeah, it does. And then you can't like come back into the country for like a year. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I honestly don't understand that whole business of moving out of the country. I hope I never have to deal hard. with it. I, <laughs> I hope I I hope I never have to deal with that. Yeah. Because that's that's a whole ordeal. I'm not ready for that. But yeah. Um like I said, pray for us. Kelly needs a ten dollar raise. I need minimum four <laughs> four uh, four dollar raise. Minimum. Yeah. Yeah. And we're probably gonna get married, just so you guys know. Yes, yes. Yeah. We'll keep so you we'll updated. Have a- I'll have a very happy announcement sometime during this year. <laughs> yeah. Maybe during like my birthday we'll get married uh-huh. some in some different country. Yeah. We'll come back. We'll be like, hey, we had so much fun and we're married. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Jordan had his birthday and we're married, so And we're married. Yeah. yeah. Here are these cheap five dollar rings I bought. <laughs> We're never going to wear them. We're not. <laughs> They're just for show. They're just for show. What really matters the, is the piece of paper we sign. The piece of paper that yes. gives me very, very cheap benefits. Yes. <laughs> and helps me on my taxes. So Yeah. That tax credit that Woo-hoo. I get. Woo-hoo. But yeah. Um, okay, Kelly, did you have anything else? No, we can get into this movie. We can get into this movie? Speaking, okay. Speaking of getting married. <laughs> speaking of getting married, yes. We, we, it's time to start talking about something borrowed. What a roller coaster this movie What, is. what a ride. Mm-hmm. What a ride. I don't even remember why I picked this movie. Oh, I do. I do. But I'll talk about you that do? later. Okay. I'll talk about that later. So, our movie starts off with Rachel, no last name. Tried to look it up. Yeah. None of these none of these people have last names. No. <laughs> so ugh. um and she's showing up to her quote unquote surprise 30th mm-hmm. birthday party. She knew it was happening. Plus yeah. when she got to the door, the vouchers were like, There's a party going on in here. <laughs> and like if she didn't know then, she would know now. She would know now. Yeah. Definitely. And so she goes in, she acts super surprised mm-hmm. when her like best friend Darcy is like I threw you this party I know you didn't want it but I threw it anyway yeah it's like okay great Great. and so while Rachel goes into the bathroom to change into a dress because like we said she knew this party was happening yes (laughs) so she brought a change of clothes um her friend Ethan comes in trying to hide from one of his like latest hookups or something like that. I don't yes. know if they I don't know if they hooked up or not or if she just really wanted to like start something with Ethan and he just wasn't having it, having it. I don't think they did hook up. I think like she wanted him and he kind maybe have shown interest and then he's like, "Oh." And then no, he I'm was good. like, "Never mind. You're crazy. Yeah. I don't want yeah. you anymore." Yeah. 
which I wouldn't say yeah, she was crazy, was but she was uh, very yeah. she was very persistent. She was. She did not understand the meaning of no. No, she didn't. Like he, but it was it wasn't really her fault. She he kept like yeah. He he wouldn't just flat out say, say no. Yeah, he just kept like kept coming up with to, excuses. Yeah, Rachel kept telling him to just have a conversation with her and be like, "Actually, I'm good." Yeah, like I think we should so just be friends. Trouble. Yeah, but nope, he just wanted to do this. So communication, y'all. Yes, please. It's, it's important. Um, later, Darcy's fiance. I put Dex for like the first half of these. It's <laughs> literally Dex. It's Dex because at one point. They finally say his actual name, which is Dexter. And I was yes. like, wait, Dexter. I've been putting <laughs> Dax. <laughs> so if I accidentally say Dax, Daxter. it's Dex. <laughs> it's Dex. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and so uh, Dex progrudgingly introduces Rachel to his old friend, Marcus. How are and Marcus, friends? I have no idea. Marcus seems like a terrible person. I don't know why Dex was friends with him. Yeah, I'd like to know that origin story. Yeah. And so Marcus starts drunkenly flirting with Rachel, but then immediately starts going after other girls. Oh, yeah. He, like, barely finishes, like, his flirtatious sentence with her, and then he sees somebody else. He's like, actually, I gotta go. Actually, I gotta go with the blonde. Yeah. (laughs) Gotta go. Gotta go. And so Darcy then makes a speech about how her and Rachel have been soulmates since they were kids. But Aww. then she eventually just like takes over the speech and starts like bragging about herself, about how she got into Notre Dame and yeah. how Rachel makes her such a better person and is like her mother. And I was like, what is this? I know when she said that, I was like, oh, that's that's, that's interesting. Weird. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a weird compliment. It's kind of backhanded, but you know. Yeah, mm. I don't. I don't want to mother my friends. No. I don't want to mother my friends. I, I don't want to mother friend. my friends. We're like yeah. we're just friends. Yeah. Like I could give you some kindly advice every once in a while, but right. If I am constantly pushing you through life, like that's not yeah. gonna work. Yeah, I did not birth you. I do not want to raise you. Which is. Yeah, you're not my responsibility. No. But, yeah, and so after this whole speech, Darcy gets really drunk and starts dancing on tables, which, if a girl starts dancing on tables, it's time to go home. It is. It's it's it it's is. time That's to go the home. Sign. That's the sign. And so uh, Dex drags her out and takes her home. After the party, Rachel complains to Ethan about being old because she's turning 30. Like, come on. Girl. No, don't do that. <laughs> Please. Like, I know that the existential crisis comes and goes because you're aging, but don't say 30 is old. How freaking dare you? I've never actually felt old. Like, I know I'm getting older. That is true. Yeah. And, like, all of my cousins and my friends are starting to have babies and stuff. I've never felt old, though. Yeah. I think I had, like, a a, a crisis about the number that I was turning. But not because I was getting older. Well, I've never had that either. I had I, I had it when I turned 24. For some reason, I had it when I turned 24. I don't know why. Girl. But, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, still got a long, you still got a long way to go. Oh. It wasn't even at 25. It was at 24, which you is better, weird. You better get that in the check <laughs> right now. Oh, yeah. No, I'm fine. But, like, honestly, the idea of turning 30, it doesn't even make me feel old. Yeah. Like, Looking at people who are thirty five or forty, I'm like, that's not even old. Like, maybe, maybe when I old? maybe when I get to fifty, I'm like, I'm pushing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thirty, thirty, yeah, thirty still, thirty still, still young. What the heck? Get that idea out of your head that you're getting older. Yeah, you're not old. You're not. And yeah, she thinks she's turning old and past her prime, and she'll never be able to have children. And I'm like, you're thirty. Calm yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Take a chill pill. And so. Uh, he tells her that she's being ridiculous because she is. Which she is, yeah. Um, before Dex comes back because Darcy left her purse. Her Chanel purse. By her the Chanel way. purse, which was like two thousand dollars or something which, like that. Which, if I lost a purse that was two thousand dollars, which I will never buy a purse that is two thousand dollars. That's ridiculous. Yes. Um, 
best believe I'm sending someone to find it. Even if I am drunk, I'm sending yeah. somebody to find it. And she did. She did. And so, yes. um, Rachel decides to stay back with Dex and look for the purse. And so they're looking for it and they find it. When they're leaving, he notices that she's sad. And so he takes her to a bar. Mm-hmm. And at this bar, um, this random woman is like staring them down oh, because. Yeah. I guess she's jealous that Rachel is with Dex. I yeah, I guess. But I'm like, these two people are strangers, mm-hmm. and you don't know what their relationship is. Yeah, like she why was are mad you? Dog them. She was so mad, and then Dex was like, "Can you stop?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Yes, thank you, thank you." But he didn't even have to say that Rachel was his quote unquote girlfriend. He could have just been like, "You're making me very uncomfortable." Yeah, you're making Please me stop. very uncomfortable. Please stop staring at me. Like, no matter who this woman is, like yeah. you're being rude. Right. Like, I don't want you staring at me. Period. Like, you staring me down is not going to make me want you more. Mm-mm, it's just going <laughs> to creep me out. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Uh, and then the two of them talk about what they wish they could have done. And long story short, they end up making out in a cab. Yeah. Because she had a crush on him in college and he didn't know about it. Yeah. And so the next morning, Rachel wakes up to Darcy calling, saying that Dex never made it home last night. And we see that Dex is naked in her bed. Yes. And so Great. the two of the two of them did decide to lie to Darcy and pretend yes. like nothing ever happened. Awful. And so we then get a flashback of Dex and Rachel meeting in like their tort law class. Do I know what tort law is? No. Nope. And I nope. never will because I will <laughs> never be a lawyer. Mm-mm. Like I, I enjoy reading sometimes. That's too much reading. That's too much reading. Oh. That's too much memorization. I can't oh, yeah. do that. And honestly, my, the law changes so much that I yeah. would not be able to keep up. Couldn't do it. My brain mm-hmm. could not do that. Mm-hmm. And what the f- What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> did you order more food and forget about no, it? No, I did not. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah, they decide they're going to lie to Darcy, not tell her what happened. Yeah. And, and they decide to not come up with a plan on how to lie. No, not at all. They just say, we're not going to tell her. We're not going to tell her. And then he's like, I was at Marcus's house. And then just leaves. Yeah. I'm like, there's more that's going to be needed. Yeah, there's a lot more that needs to be talked about here. Like, I understand that this is a very awkward situation. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to go the lying route, you're going to have to plan a lie. (laughs) Yeah, you need a backstory. You need time stamps. You need a lot of details to lie. Yeah. Did, Did we ever, did we meet up with each other? When I came back to the bar, or right. did we not? Right. Did we go to the bar at all? Yeah. Like, did you just leave once you found her person with Demarcus's? Like, yeah. I to, this is your one hundred and one on how to lie correctly. Yeah. Okay? Have a little bit of truth in there, and a little have bit some, of truth, and have some details because yeah, you need a little bit of detail, not too much, not too much, because then that'll be suspicious. Yeah. But just enough to be like, oh yeah, I left here, I met this person, I got drunk, and then I forgot to call you. They're so lucky that re- that uh, Darcy is so vapid that she won't yes. really ask that many questions. Yes. Because in real life, you would be grilled. Because if you mm-hmm. were sent out to do something and you never made it home and I thought you died, I'm going to have some questions. Mm-hmm. So, 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 yeah, I'm going to ask some questions. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to wait a couple of hours, I'm going to ask the same questions and I better get the same answers. <laughs> yes. This is an interrogation. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, so we get the flashback of Dex and, fuck, it's Dex. Dex and Rachel <laughs> <laughs> in law school. And um, he gives her a pen. Because she yes. drops all of her nicely prepared pens on the floor. And instead of just going around and picking them up, she's yeah. just she's just going to sit there and not write any notes. Right. Like, he hasn't, like, the class hadn't even really started yet. And she's all like, oh, no, I, I can't do anything about those pens on the floor. Yeah. 
She didn't you even ask the person in she front. She could have asked the like... person in front <laughs> to be like, hey, can you pass me at least one of those pens? Yeah, like, hey, I, I dropped my pen. Can you pick it up for me? Like, come on, Ridiculous. Girl. And so, uh, back in the present, the next day, Rachel goes dress shopping with Darcy. And Darcy is being very nonchalant about marrying Dex. Oh, yeah. Like, she's literally fake crying so she can see if her mascara will run. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's kind of a, a genius idea to test out your mascaras that way, but don't do it fake crying about your dress. Go watch, like, a sad movie or something. Yeah, go watch a sad movie. Go for a run. Like, do literally anything yeah, else. do anything else, please. Yeah, and then we get another flashback. So many flashbacks. So many flashbacks of Dex and Rachel... Um, studying and heavily flirting with each other in law school. Mm -hmm. And then he asks her out to dinner and she's like, oh my god, yes. And so they go to this dinner, but they're really at like a bar. They're at a bar. They didn't even go to a restaurant. They didn't go to a restaurant. That should have been my first flag, red flag. If he's like, let's go to dinner. And he's all like, gives me an address to a bar. I'm like, this man ain't shit. Mm Mm-mm. Tell like, me, it was, tell it me wasn't even like a drinking. pub. Like it was a bar. Uh, uh, it was a bar. Like I would have been like, "Hey, did you send me the wrong address?" Yeah, this is not a restaurant. This you text him back, "LOL, that's so funny. You sent me the wrong address." Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a bar. The, and then you send back a link, uh, uh, directions to a restaurant that you want to go to. To an actual restaurant. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and then Darcy somehow shows up to their date. Did she invite her? I never, I never understood. I have that. no Did idea. Rachel invite her because I, I feel no... like that's how that happened. Because how else would she? It's know? how it had to have happened, but it doesn't make sense as to why she would have invited Darcy. Yeah, like I get that you're nervous for like your first date with the guy you like, but you don't invite a friend you don't on a date. Your friend. No, you freak out about it, and then you go on the date, and then you tell them about it later. Yeah, and then. Darcy essentially steals Dex away. Yeah. 100%. Because Darcy is a horrible human being. Like, she knew that Rachel liked that man. She even, like, joked about it. Yes. But then Rachel was like, no, we're just friends. She's like, okay, cool. Go out with me. Right. Like, I, I think that was her way of, like, pressuring Rachel to do something. It was. Which, if, if you've been lifelong friends, you should know how your friends work and know that that would not have worked. Yeah. No, I don't like, even I, think that. I, I, don't, I don't even think she was trying to pressure Rachel yeah, but, to go out with Dex. I think she was pressuring Rachel to drop Dex so that she could go out with Dex. I, either way, it's bad. Either way, bad friendship. Yeah, bad, bad friendship, bad friendship. from the jump. And so, um, back in the present, Darcy tries to set Rachel up with Marcus on their trip to the Hamptons, but Rachel, like, is trying to get out of it, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work, because Darcy gets whatever she wants. Yes. And so, Rachel invites Ethan to come with her to try to, like, cock block Marcus. Yes. (laughs) When they get to the Hamptons... It's at the house of one of Ethan's clingy hookups slash yeah. wants to be with him. Her name is Claire. Oh, she has a name. <laughs> she does. <laughs> they don't mention it till later, but okay. she has a name. And so Ethan is not having a good time. Mm-mm. He is actively trying to avoid this woman in this house that they're all staying at. Yeah, good luck. And so that night, everyone hangs out at a bar, and while Ethan is trying to avoid Claire, Marcus keeps trying to get with Rachel, and he tries very hard. Like, he tells this story about a chipmunk that he saved. No, it's and he, a squirrel. It's a squirrel? A squirrel, a squirrel I thought. Oh, later it's a chipmunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and he like puts its leg in like a cast a or something. And I'm like, that makes no way. fucking sense. That squirrel or chipmunk or whatever would have ripped you to fucking shreds. Like it would yeah. not have let you touch it. Mm-mm. Even if it is wounded, it'll still fight you. And like, it's so obviously a lie, but Rachel falls for it for some reason. Yes. Everybody falls for it. Everyone falls for it. And I'm like, 
y'all are professional like women like in your late 20s to 30s you shouldn't be falling for this yeah you should hear that first line come out of his mouth and then like no stop i'm not 17 like please stop (laughs) yeah this is i am not this is not my first time out at a bar like i will not fall for whatever trash is coming out of yeah we're not doing this and so when they go back to the house, Dex and Darcy are having very loud sex. Like, oh, yeah. Like, Darcy is so obviously faking. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> like, if I was Dex, I would be so insulted. <laughs> also, how freaking inconsiderate. It's very inconsiderate. Like, You're the loud, the like, porn star screaming she's doing. Yeah is ridiculous like you know where you're at you You know how many people are in this house you know there's other people in this house you're just going ah yes yes yeah i'm like come (laughs) i would literally go to the door like can you please shut up yeah i would have been like this is not how this is going down okay no like i'm getting y'all a hotel room yeah y'all need to y'all need to go somewhere else yeah and so while that's happening marcus and rachel are watching a movie and ethan tells claire that he's gay to get her to like leave him alone but she takes it as a challenge yes which don't (laughs) she's like she's like that's okay we can work through this i'm like work through what yeah that's not how that works it's like are you gonna magically grow a penis like that's the only way way that would work work. (laughs) but yeah claire obviously is going through some stuff she has she needs to see a therapist Yes, she does. She has some, like, abandonment issues that need to be worked through. Yeah. And so, Rachel decides to leave the next morning. And Dex is like, I'll drive you. And I'm like, why? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And so, he drives her to, like, a shuttle. I don't... I know nothing about the Hamptons. Don't know why there was a shuttle. I've I've never been. I don't know if I ever want to go. I don't think I ever want to go. It seems awful. But... Yeah. Yeah, they uh they get there and Dex is like, I know I know you were really drunk that night, but I wasn't, and I was like, why oh. would you say that? Yeah, why would you? He literally makes it all worse. Why would you say that? And so it's she, awful. And so she gets really uncomfortable and just leaves, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, right, right yeah. thing to do, <laughs> right because thing to do. She she obviously thinks it's a mistake, which it was, and he's it all was. like, I wasn't that drunk, and you're no, don't no, don't do that. This this was strike this was strike two with Dex. This this was really strike two. Yeah. That was strike two for sure. And we got about three or four more that, <laughs> that are gonna come up. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna collect these things like Thanos collecting these stones. Like mm-hmm. that's how this is gonna go. That's how it's gonna go. And so sometime later, Darcy invites Rachel to dinner and Dex is there. Like she didn't tell her <laughs> that Dex yeah. was gonna be there. And Dex Neither didn't know that knew. Rachel was coming. No. And then Darcy's like, I think something weird's going on with y'all. Yeah. It's, and then she, of course, like I said, is very vapid and narcissistic. So she's like, you guys aren't getting enough. You guys don't feel like you're getting enough time with me. <laughs> I read about this in a Cosmo or I skimmed it in a Cosmo. She skimmed it. And she's like, you guys don't have to worry about anything. Like nothing will change about our relationships. And I'm like, no. Okay, yeah, and sure. then and then Darcy forces Rachel to go see a cover band with her for their for her wedding. Yes, for her wedding. Because Dex likes the band or whatever, and so Rachel is like, "I have to work." And Darcy's mm-hmm. like, "Just come for like one or two songs," and she's like, "Fine." And so she shows up, and Darcy doesn't come. Mm-mm. But she still, but she still wants Rachel to stay. Yeah, I'm like, stay for what? Like this, this is music for your wedding. Yeah. Like, what if I like it and then you don't like it and then you pissed at me for choosing it? For choosing it. Mm -mm. What the fuck? (laughs) Dex Dex somehow shows up, even though we were told earlier that he couldn't come because he had to work. Yeah. And he's rightfully... Did, did, did Darcy tell her that Rachel was going to be there? I have no idea. 
No idea. And so Dex shows up and he's like, why did she make you come? Like, he gets upset and I'm like, right. Okay, right. yeah. I'll allow yeah. that. Yeah, we'll allow it. Um, And he asks her why she never told him that she liked him in law school. Yeah. And then, uh, to make a long story short, <laughs> to make a long story <laughs> short, the two of them pretty much, like, confess their love for each other and then make out in the middle of the street. Yeah. Like, there are mad cars coming towards them, yeah. and they are just in the middle of the street making out. They were like, this is my moment to stand in the middle of traffic. In the middle of traffic in New York. <laughs> yeah. Rachel then goes home, and Dex has left her a voicemail to, like, come to the Hamptons that weekend, and she goes. Because apparently they go to the Hamptons, like, every weekend. Yeah. Also, uh, she's acting like a school school girl when she, she gets is. the dang voicemail mm -hmm. i was surprised she didn't play it back this man <laughs> that she's known for like six years yeah oh yeah by the way this this happened in the span of six years mm -hmm. like they met in college and they didn't talk about how they felt for each other for six years yep how did y'all not grow out of this i have no I idea like they, they they didn't eventually fall out of love when they realized right. that the other one didn't, quote unquote, didn't like them back. Right. Like, you didn't watch your best friend get engaged to him and be like, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm done. He, he obviously makes bad decisions. So, like, the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the so feelings are gone. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, Rachel then spends the weekend trying to make Dex jealous by being with Marcus. Bro, this whole thing is so high school. This whole and then, weekend. And then while they're like, while Rachel is dancing with Marcus and mm -hmm. Dex is like watching them, Ethan starts to suspect that something is going on. Because there's clearly something going on. Because there's something. See, a perceptive person, so mm -hmm. anyone but Darcy, would yes. realize that something's not adding up here. Yeah. So the vibes are off. The vibes are very much off. The also, are... the fact the fact that Darcy got upset and not Darcy, Rachel got upset that Darcy was there. Like yeah, her fiance is going to the Hamptons. His, his fiance. Why would she? Why would she not want to go? Yeah. If my fiance wanted she, to go somewhere, she was I weird. Been like, oh yeah, can I go too? And yeah, if she he was said weird. no. Then I would have been fine. But like, Rachel... if he said yes, then I would have been, you know. Yeah, why Rachel is she upset? was. Rachel was weirdly under the impression that the two of them were going to the Hamptons by themselves. Yeah. And I was like, in what world does that make sense? Right. Like, she's she's your best friend and his fiance. She's going to find out. Yeah. Like, y'all y'all seemingly out. go to the Hamptons every weekend. Y'all think that y'all could have just went to the Hamptons and no one would have been like, hey, we saw you guys here last right. week or two right. weeks ago. Why were you guys by yourselves? Right. And if y'all are lo like locals, then anybody else who goes there will probably find Darcy and been like, hey, hey, I saw your fiance and your best friend. Where were you? Yeah, where were you? Where were all of your friends? Hmm. Uh, 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 hmm. Yeah. 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 And so when Rachel goes into work the next week, Dex has sent her a bunch of flowers to apologize. But like, Apologize, Apologize for, for what? What? Uh, uh, yeah, and so they then call <laughs> each other, and they plan to spe to spend the Fourth of July weekend together, which is utterly ridiculous. Yeah, it's awful. Like the amount of rage I would feel, like if I found out. Mm -hmm. mm. it's, it's all bad. All bad, and so. Ethan then comes in, and he's like, ooh, who sent you the flowers? And she's like, Marcus. And he's like, why are you lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> like, immediately. He's like, who are these flowers from, Rachel? And don't lie to me again. Yeah, because that's it's obviously a lie. Like, they were, way, a horrible lie. they were way too nice to come from Marcus. Yeah. And yeah, she was wait. way too giddy about them. I was like, yeah, it's obviously not from Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, because I did not just watch you avoid this man for two weekends. Yeah. To believe this. To believe okay. that 
he bought this nice of flowers and that you're so giddy about them. Mm -hmm. And so they go to like their safe haven, Shake Shack, which <laughs> they go there a lot in this they movie. Go there a like lot. I have a feeling that if I really like looked it up, Shake Shack like helped it's produce placement. Yeah. helped produce this movie or something like 100%. the amount of times shake shack is like either they go to eat at shake shack or they mention shake shack is ridiculous honestly if they're not at work or at the hamptons or at shake shack they're at shake shack mm -hmm. like it's ridiculous and so she explains to ethan everything that's going on and ethan is way too kind to her Yes. Like he's not being a real yes. friend in this moment. No. Cuz he's, he's just being like friend. He's just like what you're doing isn't that bad. I'm like no, it's no. it's very it's, it's very very bad. very bad. It's like he's the worst thing friend. you could do in a relation in a friendship. Like the yes. worst thing. Yes. And so he then tells her that Darcy would stay to spend the weekend with Dex if the roles were reversed and I'm like Huh. Darcy is not the moral high ground. Yeah. She's actually the low ground. Like, she's, like, yeah. the bottom tier of moral, like, yeah, superior. Yeah, this is a bad comparison. It's a very bad comparison. Not a good one. Uh, like, oh. what, I don't know what Ethan was thinking in that moment. Because oh, no. any other time he's giving her advice, it's, like, sound advice. This was yeah. terrible advice. It was awful advice. Also, with what hap with what happens later at the end of the movie, why would it makes no say sense. that? It makes but, no sense. Honestly, that's why. Like, I got the vibes that he did. Um, but why put it at the end? Why not have him do it now? You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'll or, talk about or, that later. Cause uh, mm. left field, Kelly. Left field, dude. That's some other field at that point. It's not even left field. <laughs> and so we cut to Darcy and Rachel hanging out. And Rachel ends up writing Darcy's vows for her. <laughs> That's how you know you don't love your man. You don't love your man. Someone else had to write the vows for you. Yeah. If you can't even think of one nice thing to say about the person that you're dating. Yeah. And then oh. Ra uh, Darcy wasn't even listening. No, she was not. She's an awful person. She is such a bad friend and a person overall mm -hmm. and so dex and rachel then spend the fourth of july weekend together or whatever it was because you know the fourth of july can land on like a wednesday so like whatever yeah whatever time of the week whatever time of the week it was they spent that together because mm -hmm. they both lied to darcy and said that they had to work also but, can i just say like they spent maybe half a day together and he's already like this is like my favorite weekend. And I'm like, bro, it's been like six hours. Right, <laughs> <Chill>. calm down. <laughs> Chill. And so, yeah, they walk through the park. They walk through an empty New York City because apparently everyone leaves New York leaves City for the July. Yeah. Um, and they have sex the entire weekend. And then one mm -hmm. day they bump into Dex's parents. <gasps> And his father immediately knows what's going oh, yeah. on and tells Dex to stop it immediately. He's like, no, I did not raise you to act like this. A good father. A good a father. A good father, honestly. <laughs> honestly. He said, he said, we don't do this. Mm-mm. 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 You were we raised better cheat. than this. We do not cheat on our partners. Nope. No. He said, drop that, drop that girl right now. Also, the fact that his dad could tell. How could nobody else? I'm sorry. His dad spent one hour with them, maybe two. Maybe two. I mean, they were in New York by themselves, 4th of July weekend, walking in the park when they, like, bumped into each other. Like, what else were they doing, Kelly? <laughs> but still, like, your father knows. Like... I mean, anyone at that point, anyone with eyes at that point would have seen it. I, 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 I can't. But yeah, good father moment. Good father. He's like, he's a true like, father. No, a true father. He took his son aside and been like, absolutely not. Okay. He's, he's <laughs> like, I don't care how you do it. You need to drop this woman. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'll this do it is for not you right. At this point. <laughs> yeah. 
don't make me tell your mother. You better <laughs> end this right now. I will drag her into this. And so later, he drops Rachel off at her apartment and essentially breaks up with her. Good. Without actually breaking up with her, though. Yeah. He, liter- he literally just kisses her and he says, I really did me- mean what I said and just left. Left? <laughs> and I was like, really, Dex? I was like, maybe your parents didn't raise you all that well or you yeah. just weren't listening because that's not what your it's not what your father meant. Yeah, that's not what he Your said. father did not mean for you to leave all that ambiguity in the air. He wanted you to cut it off. <laughs> yes. He wanted you to say, I cannot be with you. I anymore. cannot be with you anymore. This is wrong. Yes. I am getting married. Yeah, I'm End getting married to your best friend. Right. <laughs> this cannot happen anymore. Right. We were foolish to have even started this. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Honestly, I understand if you do not want to come to the wedding. <laughs> yes. I will I will tell Darcy that you changed your mind or something if you do not want to tell yeah, her. Yeah, something happened. Okay. You got <laughs> deathly ill. I don't yes. care. You moved to London. You left With the country. With Ethan. Yeah. Yes. We, I know even that's though a we have spoiler. Yeah. But Dude, ah, it literally it literally happens awful. next but yeah yes. and so <laughs> rachel later meets up with ethan and ethan tells her that she's being strung along which yeah she is <laughs> and then he tells rachel that he's moving to london to get his book published why he has to move there i don't no idea. no like all you have to do is email the pages to the publisher i yeah. don't know why you have to move there yeah they don't need you. They need your they book. Don't, they need the book. They don't need you to physically be there. And so Rachel then... Oh. Yes. And so Rachel then meets up with Marcus one day. Why? I don't know. Yeah. Like, she sought this man out. She did. And I thought, like, maybe they were going to do a whole Rachel, uh, Marcus is actually a good guy thing. They didn't. They didn't. Because they were no. trying to make it seem like he was, like, hanging out with these kids and teaching them how to skate. He no. wasn't. <laughs> that's, just, that's just what he's doing. He's just childish. Yeah. And so uh, he tells her that Dex and Rachel are getting a house together. And that night, Rachel talks to Darcy about the house while Darcy mm-hmm. is in bed with Dex. <laughs> and Dex is trying to downplay that they're, them getting a house oh together. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then Rachel's being super passive aggressive. Yeah. So passive aggressive. It's so passive aggressive. Also, that house was nice. It was a very nice house. Beautiful. It's a very nice house. And their parents are buying it for them. And I love that it wasn't open concept because, as we all know on this podcast, I hate open concept houses. <laughs> I feel like rooms should be their separate places. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan does not want the kitchen, the dining, and the living room. Mixing together? (laughs) Hell no. (laughs) Jordan walks into an open concept home. He's all like, I need to do I need to put a wall up. I should not (laughs) walk into I should not walk into a house and be able to see the fridge and a couch. Like that's fucking ridiculous. Like, Jordan gets gifted a house for his as a wedding gift. He's all like, thanks. Calls a contractor. I need some walls. I need walls. We need, need walls, walls and we need a lot of them. Cage me in. We, I need walls. I need doors. <laughs> I can't do this. I need something. Like, it's so ridiculous. I hate open con- Ugh, hate it. <laughs> and so, yeah. Rachel, Rachel's not happy that they're getting a house together because that really solidifies that he's choosing Darcy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the next day he like calls and texts Rachel, but she just keeps blowing him off. Yeah. And so the night of Darcy's bachelorette party, she decides to spend the night at Rachel's place and Dex calls and tries to come over. And so while Rachel is trying to like hide the fact that Dex is calling and trying to come over, mm-hmm. 
some wires get crossed Mm -hmm. and Darcy thinks that Rachel is secretly in a relationship with Ethan. Yeah. Also the way that she didn't just be like, Oh no, you can't come up because Darcy is here. Mm -hmm. And that would have just been clear to to him that like, Oh yeah, I gotta go. (laughs) Or as soon as he called, we're like, Hey Dex. Yeah. Darcy's here. Yeah. Yeah, or been like, oh, no, I can't go out because Darcy's here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Your fiancé, but Your I can't fiance. say that. <laughs> like, it could they it could have worked out better. Oh, yeah, totally. And so we then get a really weird, like, dance scene to push it by yeah. Salt and Peppa. Yeah. And then before they go to bed, uh, Darcy tells Rachel how much he loves her. Mm-hmm. And Rachel is about to, like, confess mm-hmm. to having the secret affair with Dex. Mm-hmm. But then she doesn't. No. Yeah. Yeah, that should have been her moment. It should have been her moment. She should have did it. I thought, what I thought was going to happen was Darcy was going to, like, fall asleep and then Rachel was going to say it. Yes. It didn't yeah. happen, though. The, the classic. <laughs> it didn't happen, though. Mm-mm. Uh, yeah, and now Rachel is starting to like actually feel bad about this whole I hate situation. That she, I hate that that's the moment where she actually starts to feel bad. Yeah, not the who knows how many times she slept with Dex. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But right now, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so the next morning, Darcy asks Rachel if she should marry Dex. And Rachel's like, yes. <laughs> she like begrudgingly is like, you <sighs> should marry him like at that yeah. pace yeah. like she's like she's a- forcing herself to say those yes. words yeah like that would have made me feel weird like if i was darcy i right. would have been like why are you saying why, it like that right why are you saying it like that because you obviously don't want me to do it right <laughs> so why. i was like yeah why should why shouldn't i and so yeah she talks her into marrying dex yeah and then darcy tells rachel that she cheated on dex and th- and thanks, Rachel, for listening, because now she feels much better now that she's admitted it to someone. Oh, my Lord. And that, that it only hap- and that it only happened one time, <clears throat> and it didn't mean anything, and blah, blah, blah. And it happened July 4 weekend. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And so Rachel then tells Ethan, because Ethan, probably against his will, knows the T of everyone. <laughs> In this, this friend man. group. This poor man. He holds everybody's secrets and he's Yeah. Happy. I bet in like the back of his mind, he's like, please stop talking to me. Can we yeah. just talk about our days? Can we? <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you about something that I watched last night that was really funny? Like, I, yeah. I, I'd pay to, to talk about anything else. Anything for the else. Love of God. <laughs> please. He gets a call. He's, he, or he gets a call from her, Rachel. He sees the look on her face. I would have been like, no. No. Just mm-hmm. eat your Shake Shack and shut the fuck up. Like, please yeah. <laughs> leave me alone. The next thing that should come out of your mouth should be, how was your day? <laughs> if it's yeah. anything but that, I don't want to know. And so, yeah, Rachel tells Ethan, and he says that she should tell Dex. But she says that <sighs> she doesn't want to win him by default or whatever. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Right. And that this whole it doesn't. Situation is messed up. Yeah, and that it doesn't matter anyway because she's done with him, and it's no longer her problem. As she should. And so Ethan pushes her too far. He's like, "Your friendship with Darcy is terrible." Which it is. Which it is, and this like really makes her upset, and so she like gets mad at him and like pushes him away. And then during one of their copious Hampton weekends, <laughs> <laughs> Darcy blurts out that Ethan and Rachel are having sex, and Ethan gets strangely upset. Like, yeah, I'm like, Ethan, like, calm down. Like, right, considering what happens later, you should. It's un- like... it's it's a little understandable, but like, yeah. But also, you should, he shouldn't have had that much of a reaction. No. And yeah, Ethan gets really upset. 
and then the two of them and then Ethan and Dex get into like a really intense game of badminton. Yeah, because he proposes that whoever makes a point has to tell a secret. Has to tell a secret. And, and obviously De- Rachel and Dex and have got Dex something do to hide. not want to play that game. <laughs> I love how petty Ethan is in that moment. He's all like, oh, y'all want to play? Y'all want to play? Yeah, and then eventually <laughs> eventually, he ends up blowing up at Rachel and calls her a coward uh-huh. who lets Darcy do and say whatever she wants. And Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. It's not. He's had enough. And so while at the bar, Claire helps Rachel realize that she shouldn't chase down someone who doesn't want to commit to her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because Claire has finally gotten the hit that Ethan does not want her. Yeah, that he is actually, in fact, not gay. Yes. And he just didn't want her. Also, he just didn't want her. He just skipped over the fact that she wore a, uh, what was it? Like a gay rights shirt? A gay rights shirt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because she wanted to, I don't know, win him Support Ethan? Support, become an ally? I don't know. But she fully committed to that. She, she, she was committed. so willing to be Ethan's beard. Like, she was hilarious. so bad for that man. And so, yeah. Uh, Rachel's like, you know what, Claire? You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. He doesn't want to commit to me. I, I gotta let him go. Mm-hmm. And so, Rachel tells Dex that he needs to decide what he wants to do with his life. And not what others want him to do. And so she walks off in the rain all dramatic. And then we get Mm -hmm. another flashback to the night that Dex met Darcy. And Rachel leaves when she sees that they're getting together. Mm -hmm. And like while she's leaving, Dex like stops her. And he's like, are you okay with this? Yeah. And she's like, of course I am. And then walks away crying. The fact that that should have been his moment, because we found out that he liked her then, too. That should have been his moment to say no. Yeah. This man literally cannot stand up for himself, and neither can Rachel. Yeah. Bad pairing. (laughs) Bad pairing. Bad pairing! Like, and y'all haven't grown out of this six years later? Yeah. uh, If you like someone, just... At this if point in your life, just, just tell right. them. Right. Like, I get it when you're in college, you're still kind of like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, I can't really commit or whatever. But yeah. Like, your frontal lobe you, is fully intact at this point. Please yeah. be an yeah, adult. You were, you were, what, 26, 27 at this point? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. And, Come on. And you still don't know how to vocalize what you want? Yeah. Come on, y'all. Please. Come on. And so, back in the present, Rachel runs back to Dex, and she tells him that she shouldn't have left that night, and that they should be together, and he says he can't leave. And so she's like, okay, bet, and goes back home. She's like, I, she's like, I tried, I I tried. Yeah, yeah, it was a bad time to try, but it It was a terrible time to try, but she did it. And so Rachel then decides to go to London to visit Ethan. (laughs) And he uh, he tells Rachel that he likes her out of no out out of nowhere. Yeah, this she shows up and immediately he's all like, you know, I really like you, right? Yeah, I really love you. And then they and then they move on. Literally, they They move move on on because Rachel (laughs) very obviously does not like him like that. Yeah. And he's like, you know what, that's fine. Yeah. But the fact that they threw that in there, so late in the game. So late in the game. Like, I feel like they should have done this so much earlier in the movie to cause more drama. But Like, he should have said this, like, before he went to England. Yeah. And because that would have made more sense for him to be like, I have to get away from you because I like you so much. Yes. I'm leaving. Them doing it this late in the game made no sense. There's literally like 20 minutes left in the movie. Yeah. 
That's why they had like to, that. like, rush through it. Like, that's why they didn't yeah. have an actual conversation about it. They did. They don't, honestly. She just, like, laid on him, and then the next morning, she's like, I'm going home. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Uh. And so, yeah, she decides to go back home and to go to the wedding <laughs> so that she can support Darcy. Mm-mm. And I'm like, that makes no sense, but okay. Mm-mm. And so, when she gets home... Dex is sitting at her doorstep and he tells her that he called off the wedding and they go upstairs to talk and he says that he wants to be with her and they kiss before Darcy comes over. Mm-hmm. How Darcy knew that Rachel was home, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And so Darcy comes in and confesses that she had sex with Marcus mm-hmm. and that she's having his baby. Mm-hmm. And that they're gonna like be together. Awful. And then she just like she's like, I'm so happy, and then she just up and leaves. And then she immediately comes back. Yes. <laughs> and she's she, like, wait a minute. <laughs> and she's like, Why is Dex's jacket here? <laughs> <laughs> she somehow saw the jacket, like out of the corner of her eye or something. Yeah. And so she comes into the apartment and starts searching for Dex. Mm -hmm. And she finds him. And then she finally puts two and two together. And she's like, you were sleeping with my fiance. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) She gets really upset. Mm -hmm. She tells Rachel she never wants to see her again. Yeah. And then she leaves with Marcus, who was like outside playing on a... <laughs> playing on a um what a skateboard with a child. Yeah. 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 Um two months later, Darcy and Rachel run into each other. And Rachel tells Darcy that she's sorry and that she misses her. And Rachel is like, Okay, that's cool. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. And I'm like <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, good for you. And the two of them walk away from each other. With Darcy obviously have lied about being happy because she said it twice. Like if she had just yeah. said it once, I would have once. been like, yeah. yeah. But then she turns happened. back around and says it again. She's mm-hmm. like, she's like, Rachel, you know, I'm really, I really am happy. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like Rachel also caught on to that because I was like, yeah, girl. Yeah. You should have just said it the one time. Yeah. Because if you have to reassure somebody that you're fine. You're really just reassuring yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so, yeah, Darcy walks off to wherever Darcy's going. And Rachel meets up with Dex. And the two of them walk <laughs> happily off into the streets of New York. What an awful ending. What an awful ending. <laughs> And then in a like mid credit scene, Darcy goes to London and runs into Ethan, and he like runs away from her. Yeah. And then there's a to be continued, but there's no continuation. There's so no sorry. Continuation. No. Sorry. And that's the end of the movie. Yeah. Okay. You ready for the movie facts, Kelly? Yes. So there are two different like bride wars connections with this movie. Oh, is there? The first one is that Kate Hudson, who played Darcy, and Steve Howie, who played Marcus, mm-hmm. uh, also played a couple who get married in Bride Wars. Yes. And then um, Darcy and Dex's wedding invitations say that their wedding is happening at the plaza, which is the what same is place that Kate <laughs> Hudson got married in Bride Wars. That's amazing. Um, so this movie is based off of a book series. There's a series? Yeah. That's why oh. there was a to be continued. Oh. That never happened because this movie was no. god awful. Uh oh, but I'll talk about that later. No, 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 no. Um, and so in the book, Rachel told Ethan of her affair with Dex over the phone because in the entire book, Ethan is in London. He's not in New York at any point in the book. <laughs> really? In oh. fact, his his like character is like melded with another character who's not in this movie, who oh. like works with 
Rachel. She's like Rachel. Rachel's like work bestie. Uh, they like uh, melded okay. the two characters into just okay. Eating. Interesting. Interesting. Um, do you want to know who auditioned to play Dex? Yes. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Twilight. No, not Robert Pattinson. Not Robert. No, not Robert Pattinson. No. Too young. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, what's his name then? Oh, oh, I don't know their names. Um, Carlisle. Yes. His name is really? Peter Peter Fecinelli. Ooh, Ooh. Italian names <laughs> don't get me every time. Yeah, he auditioned mm. to be Dex. Mm. I don't which... know. Okay, um, and yeah. then you want to know who auditioned to play Marcus? Ooh. I'm just gonna tell you, Colin Farrell. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Absolutely not. No. Actually, I'd like I'd like to see a chemistry test. I would. <laughs> <laughs> this is an awful, think... This is an awful movie to be in, but like I'd want I'd want to see the dynamic between Colin Farrell and Kate Hudson. <laughs> I kinda wanna see it. I I also kinda wanna see him play a character like Marcus. Mm-hmm. Because seeing him on a skateboard, seeing him on a skateboard, telling a sob story about making us like a little cast for a squirrel or for a squirrel or a chipmunk, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Would he would he have had the act his accent or would he have tried to like go with an American accent? I kind of want to see it with the accent just to make it even. I feel like that would be the true selling point. Like the story, (laughs) like they don't really care about the story; it's the accent. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, that would have made more sense for how he got girls was the accent. Yeah, the accent. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, he's Colin Farrell. But, you know, that's yeah. a whole other story. Yeah, neither here nor there. Okay, Kelly. It's time for the question. Is this yeah. movie iconic? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. It's, a, it's an awful movie. It's an awful storyline. I don't know how accurate it is to the books, but... Apparently, it's very accurate. You want to know how, like, Uh, the book series ends? Yeah, go ahead. I looked it up. Um, So, How many books, by the way? I think it's three. Rachel Rachel and what's his name? Dex. They they stay together. You you want want to know? You you want to know who Darcy ends up with? Who? Kelly, guess. Is it it Marcus? (laughs) <laughs> is, it, is it Ethan? It's Ethan. <laughs> I, you know what? I have to look it up. I have to look up some some. Apparently, she like moves in with him, and then she like starts in the second book. She starts like trying to like look for like a new man, and then it like turns into like an enemies to lovers thingy. No. And then they end up raising her child together. No. I, I No words. And no words at all. No words. No I, words. I'm sorry. Uh, what? How they got to a third book, I will never understand. How they got to a <laughs> second book, I will never understand. Yeah. Mm. What is going on here? Awful. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This movie's not iconic. They didn't even finish the story. So no, that's how you didn't. know something isn't iconic. Yeah. Um, I don't even know how this movie was made because of the hard sell of the story. Yeah, it's an awful story. It's an awful story. You should see the reviews on Letterboxd. Oh, Baby, yeah. people hate this movie. Oh. <laughs> oh, I gotta look it up. Yeah, also, there's like no one to root for in this movie. Absolutely nobody. No one to root for. Like even e- like Ethan as like the best friend, even at the beginning, like without him getting into this mess, I was like, oh, he's okay. And then like the further it goes on, I'm like, I don't like anybody in this movie. I don't like anyone in this movie, <laughs> and that's sort of necessary in a rom com. Yes. You have to you root for like... the couple. Yeah, you have to root for the couple, or you love the the comedic side to character. And you can't even do that in this movie. You can't even do that in this movie. 
formula failed. So <laughs> we sorry. give this a hard not iconic, like a hard, yeah, hard not, not iconic. iconic. What an awful situation for awful. everybody. Awful. Don't ever try to remake this. Mm-mm. Don't try to continue Mm-mm. the story. No, Mm-mm. let's just we leave it. That. Leave it in the past. Yes, please. Okay, Kelly, what are your recommendations for this week? So, my first recommendation is The Terrell Show on YouTube. Oh, I love um, that show. It's love, so Love good. the song associations. Love, love the song associations. They're so funny. I love um, T and Coco. Is that what his series with Coco Jones is called? Yes, yes it is. Love the episode so where they good. went to the haunted house. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I literally binge watched some of his older episodes because uh, I wasn't feeling well this week. So I'm just like, I need something. I need some serotonin. And so I just watched some older episodes and bro, killed me. Ooh, killed speaking of me. serotonin, it's supposed to start being sunny on Tuesday. I don't. I'm gonna act up, Kelly. I'm gonna be just <laughs> laying on the floor, <laughs> just soaking up the vitamin D. George is gonna open his back door and just lay out. <laughs> He needs some sun. I need some sun. So yesterday I went for a walk because I was like, I haven't really been outside. I went for like a 15 minute walk. It was not sunny at all, but it wasn't raining. So I went outside. I was like, it's raining here here today. It's raining right now. I don't think it's raining right now, but it's going to start raining at like three o'clock. Okay. So it's coming for you. Yeah. I'm so tired of this weather. But yeah, it's it's raining. But Kelly, it's Tuesday, sun. Wednesday, it's supposed to rain. Hopefully, yeah. it won't. And then after that, nothing but sun. Nothing but sun. Bro, Can't honestly, wait. where I used to live, it's still under flood watch. Oh, it's still under flood watch here. Yeah, which I understand because I literally live next to a delta. <laughs> Yikes. I live on a hill, so yeah, like, be easy. I I don't have yeah, to worry please. about flooding. Yeah. My car is fine. Anyway, yeah, I have one more recommendation. It's uh, "Up to You" by Pretty Much featuring NCT Dream. Super good song. It's like a summery bop. Mm. So if you want some like feel good summer bop right now, and this little winter craziness, listen to that. Great. Love that. Love a summer bop. Yes, love a summer bop. As for me, I have three. Ooh, okay. My first recommendation is Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Great song. I'm rooting for it to be number one on Billboard. I'm rooting for it. Wow. I think it can happen. I, I think I can make it work. Because I'm so tired of anti-hero. If, oh, 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 let me not oh, talk oh, too much. Can let you say that? Me, I, can't, I can't. So let me hush before some 15-year-old girl tries to, like, dox me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, great song. Great song. Love it. Mm-hmm. Great video. Like, my Sarah is working out. Oh, amazing. Love it. Tight, tight, tightness. Like, <laughs> almost makes me want to go vegan. Uh, <laughs> um, my second recommendation is a movie. It's called Sick on Peacock. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that was really great. It's by like it's written by like the creator of Scream. It's Ooh. a it's a slasher movie that takes place like during the pandemic, and you would think, wow, Jordan stop. They really need to stop making pandemic movies. But this mm-hmm. one was good. Was the it? the pandemic really played well into the plot. Like it was oh, great. Good. It was great. Um, had some great chase scenes. Um, the the girls were making smart decisions. Good. It was good. It. it was good. I enjoyed myself. I... Launching Jin Major ah! Sorry. Hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, watch Sick on Peacock. It was really good. I'm kind of mad they didn't put it in theaters because I would have saw it in theaters. And then my last recommendation is a show. It's okay. called Why Women Kill. It's on Paramount Plus. Oh, yes. Really good. I, I saw season one. Haven't seen season two. Okay. I saw season one because it had Lucy Liu in it. Mm-hmm. 
Love that. Yeah. Um, good, good, good three stories going on. Um, I loved how it ended, how it, like, all melded together. It was great. Hmm. So, if you do have Paramount Plus, which, like, no one has Paramount Plus. Yeah, who has Paramount Plus? <laughs> no one has Paramount Plus. I literally no. use my cousin's Paramount Plus account. And I, I don't want to let y'all know right now, that's the only reason why I saw Top Gun Maverick, because it's on Paramount Plus. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And the movie was good. It's not as great as everybody was hyping it up to be. It is a good movie. But it was good. Like, it was okay. I think people were more thirsting over, um, whatever his name is. Tom Cruise? No, the other guy. From the new Footloose. What is it? Miles name? Teller? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I did it. Did the movie have story problems? Yes. It mm-hmm. really did. Mm-hmm. It had story problems. They kept trying to push way too hard into the nostalgia. Like, way too oh, hard. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. They were really banking on the Top Gun name selling itself. Yeah, um, why wasn't Meg Ryan in this movie? Why? Meg Ryan is still alive. Why was she not in this movie? She is still alive and kicking. (laughs) She is still an actress. Why was she not in this movie? Right. Um, Baffling. Really only two, two and a half characters get character development. True. Like, that's it. All the other pilots, they might as well not even be there. Yeah, who who are they again? Can who? you name some for me? <laughs> Other than what's his name, Bob? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't have any character development either, so he didn't. I think it's just funny. The only reason why I remembered him is because everyone else had like actual call signs, and his name was just Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for him. But yeah. um... Back to my recommendation. Why Women Kill. Great show. Great show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so, that's it. That's it for us. Yes, it um, is. Interesting movie. Yeah, very you know, interesting movie. Really, really interesting. Um, several people read read this script. Several people auditioned for this movie. And were like, yep, I'm going to do this. Yeah, they really saw this and were like, I love this project. Put my name on it. Put my name on it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Anyway, don't forget to follow us on our social media. We have a Twitter and an Instagram. They're both at SYTYF Podcast. Um, You can send us your movie requests or your movie stories at our email, SYTYIPodcast at Mm gmail.com. Do you like this movie? Yeah. Cause we're we are rom com people. Yeah, I love a, I love a rom. I love a good rom com. Yeah, this is not one of them. No. Like this is actually really really bad, but it's very bad. If you like it, please explain why. Yeah. If yeah, if please. you've if you've read all of the books, explain why. Yeah. Yeah, please. I feel like this movie probably hurt the careers of everyone in it. <laughs> because the guy who plays Dex, I've never seen him in anything other than this. Oh, yeah. um, Steve Howie was okay because he got shameless. Mm, sure. So he, he was okay. Um, John Krasinski's okay. Mm-hmm. But that's mostly because he was in that 13 Hours movie mm-hmm. and, like, beefed up. And so then he started becoming, like, a sex symbol. And so they started putting him in stuff. True. Plus The Office, of course. Yes, The Office. Um, Kate Hudson's career has been, it's just been up and down. Yeah, she's, she's had her goods. She's had her bads. Uh-huh. It's just how it is. Who was that? Who? What's the name of that woman who plays Rachel? Jennifer Goodwin, is that it? Yes. Um, she has also had Once ups upon and downs. A time. Once yeah, upon a time. ups and downs. Once upon a time. Um, what's that Disney movie she's in? Zootopia. 
Oh yes, I uh, forgot ups, she was ups, in that. Ups and downs. Ups, ups and, downs. and downs. Ups and downs. But yeah, this was not a career starting movie. This was not a career. I I didn't even look at the box office. Oh yeah. It's probably not good. Let me see. Two seconds. Um, I would consider this a failure. <laughs> what, happened, what happened? 60.1 million against a 35 million dollar budget Ooh. and remember the budget does not include advertising yeah, so it's a failure yeah 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 so explain to me why you like this movie like i'm open i'm open I'm open to anything. Like, please. Like, I won't fight you. Like, I don't fight yeah. people over the internet. Like, no, I won't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We just want. We just want to understand. I just want to understand. I like different yeah. perspectives. Yeah, we're not gonna fight you on it. I won't fight you. Trust and believe. If there's one thing you want to know about me, I will not fight someone over the internet. Yeah, no. I think that's no, the most not. childish thing in the entire fucking yeah. world. I will not fight you over the internet. J- just know that. Y'all can be a keyboard warrior somewhere else. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I have an aunt yeah, no. who literally searches out posts so she can fight with people over the internet. No. And I think that's the dumbest thing in the entire fucking world. I'm like, why are you that's fighting so with people awful. over the internet? Yeah, what's Strangers. the point? Strangers. What's the point? What's the point? But yeah, um, if you like this episode, share us with your friends and your family. Mm-hmm. Uh, subscribe to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast, and rate and review us on Apple Podcasts with five stars. Thank we you. recently got a five star review. They didn't. They didn't leave a <laughs> comment. They didn't leave a comment, but they gave us a five star review. Thank you. So thank you, whoever you are. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Like you, you understood the assignment. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and yeah, everyone stay cool out there. If you're in Mm -hmm. California, the rain is almost over. By the time you hear this, the rain will be over. Mm -hmm. And then we rebuild. And then we rebuild. (laughs) Have you seen like the, have you seen like the videos of Santa Cruz? Oh my, yeah. Capitola got hit, bro. Like, I'm so sad for Capitola. Like why? is the ocean like right on top of the santa cruz beach boardwalk like literally like uh, and then like that little like river that like feeds into the ocean yes it's like one in the same yes (laughs) like it's one of the same at this point there is no distinction anymore um so yeah if you're out there and you get afflicted by the floods yeah um i love you santa cruz love you guys hope you guys are okay yeah um, I heard you guys get an extra month to do your taxes. Understandable. <laughs> I don't. I. <laughs> I mean, half understandable, half not. Yeah. Well. I'm like, what? What? Okay, a month. Like. I know a it? month doesn't. It doesn't seem like a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot when I'm busy trying to like air out my house and mm-hmm. <laughs> get a new car mm-hmm. and go through insurance and all this shit. But you gave me a month, so thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'll take what, what we can get. I'll take what I can get, because I know America is stingy. Mm. Understatement. Yeah, so everyone have a have a good week, and stay iconic. Yes. Stay iconic, y'all. Bye. Bye.